How's everyone doing tonight? Pretty good? I can walk, so I am uh, very, very grateful and very thankful, especially after what I've been through. And to hear stories of someone like Bill going through really helps me keep my shit in perspective. So if I had to let go of one thing in 2022 that really, really changed my life, it was my expectations. I, uh, man, I, I woke up in a, in a hospital room and nurses around me and some weird shit going on, but I could tell I was in a hospital. But I didn't remember anything. I had a traumatic brain injury, which I didn't realize at the time. I've learned more about since then. But man, I'm lucky to be, even be here. And there were so many things leading up to the accident that I didn't remember. And I found out about my injuries. I'm, you know, got a bum ankle. I destroyed three out of my four appendages. Uh, I was relegated to a bed and couldn't walk for weeks. Um, I could get on a board and get into a wheelchair and go out into the, into the PT area in the hospital or the main nursing area, wherever they took me. Um, and at some point, I had to, February 18th, had to go to my mom's house, 80-year-old mom. I'm 45 years old. And I was stuck in this little corner bedroom in this little house of this lady who was retired. And uh, she's born and raised a Roman Catholic, very devout Roman Catholic. God bless her soul. Um, not the smiliest, happiest individual to be around. And here I was thinking, oh, my God, man, I, I need some love in my life. I need a, a pat on the butt. I need some encouragement, you know, that would be so helpful. But I have two family members. I have my mom, who I just mentioned, obviously, and my daughter, who's in college overseas. So I didn't have it to get it from anywhere. But that being said, um, I woke up in the, the hospital where my wife, soon to be ex wife, worked as a nurse. I didn't remember at the time, really, that she had cheated on me two years earlier. I'd moved out. Um, and we had broken up a few months before the accident because we started dating again for a little while. And I didn't remember anything. I just woke up and there she was. And I was kind of reset to square one. And on April 4th, the day that I was supposed to walk again on a walker, my wife broke up with me through a text message. I know, I know, right? Like but I still had to get up and fucking walk. I had to learn how to walk again. Do you know what it's like to have to learn how to walk again twice? And I'm not a tough guy. I wanted a comfortable, easy life that was exactly that, comfortable and easy, and now it wasn't anymore. I broke 22 bones. How many people, by a sign of applause, if you could just clap, have not broken a bone in their lifetime? God bless every single one of you. I did 22 and a half of a second, you know? And to think that I was handicapped or going to be crippled or have all these problems and issues with my muscle atrophy and the deterioration and, the, I mean, the scar on my right wrist goes from the bracelet all the way down to here, and that's just on one side. And at that time, I couldn't even move my thumb when I woke up in the hospital. And I remember going to PT, physical therapy in the hospital, before I even made it to my mom's house. And I wasn't allowed to put any weight on the ball of my left foot. But in the wheelchair, I could use my left arm and my left foot. So I'm out there doing PT in fucking circles, right? Little, little circles just working that left side. Um, that being said, mentally and emotionally, what I was going through was every bit of a match for the physical pain that I was going through. And I couldn't run away from it. Couldn't fucking go anywhere. I laid in a bed for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. And I learned that we all have a blueprint. You know, we all have a way that we think our life is gonna go. And whether our dads pass away, whether we lose a leg, whether we lose a job, lost mine, did that too whether we lose a car, whether we 
I mean, I'd hit some trees pretty hard in my life previously, but not in the manner of, you know, a tree this big in a car at 70 miles an hour. And I thought I would have a, a loving family there if a, a tragedy happened. I thought I would have a wife there who cared and supported me in the struggles and in what I was going through, and I didn't really have that either. And I realized I had to change what I expected out of life. And I had to do it with the help of some friends, and I had to do it with the help of God, the universe, divine power, whatever you want to call it. I had to look up and I had to talk to that divine power and that nothingness, that everythingness all the time. And that's all I was able to do for weeks and weeks on end. And I had to do physical therapy, which is physical torture, three days a week for the entire year of 2022. And I can't even tell you what that's like to have to go through. But I had to change my expectations of where I was gonna go and what I was gonna be able to do. That being said, got a really good job. I have a beautiful girlfriend who is smart, funny, intelligent, and everything that my previous relationship wasn't. And I'm able to walk again. It might not be perfect, but I see someone like Bill and what Bill went through, and my heart goes out to him, and I know his heart goes out to me as well. And brother, it may hurt me a lot, but I'm going to walk enough for the both of us. So let go of your blueprint. Let go of your expectation of what you thought life might be, and think about what life can be and what life could be. Because I certainly didn't expect to be here doing this. Certainly didn't expect to be walking again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful night and embrace what you have.